For that, I want to bring in News Nation political editor, host of The Hill Sunday, Chris Steyerwall. Chris, good to see you once again. We were talking about uh, what happens before the debate. Now we have you here. So just to amplify this a little bit more, the number one question that came up from this, the very first question from George Stephanopoulos, was President Biden's reaction to the debate. And he basically said, it was a bad episode, I was exhausted, and I was sick. What do you make of that? You know, it's sad for Joe Biden, but it doesn't really matter what, when you read the transcript of what was said and you watch it, it's not the words. Yeah, he had some verbal stumbles and be good or whatever. He, there were errors, <clears throat> but the real problem for Biden is how he looks and how he sounds. And that doesn't get fixed. And I think Democrats are asking an impossible thing of Joe Biden, which is you had a bad debate. Now we want you to be 20 years younger. We want you to be bright eyed and lucid and sharp, which is not what Biden was before the debate. And there was a lot of collective group wishing. There was a lot of wish casting going on among Democrats that, you know what, Biden's actually OK. And they were talking themselves into it. But once you saw it in the debate and everybody had to admit it and the toothpaste got out of the tube, you can't put it back in. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. And nothing that Biden did in this in this interview is going to make any Democrat say, yeah, you know what? We were right the first time. This guy's great. We're going to stick with him. This did not do that. Chris, he mentioned during the, the president mentioned during the course of this interview that his polls are saying something different than the public polls. Any idea what he's referring to exactly? I'm not saying that to be, you know, make a, a wise guy comment here. I just don't understand exactly what polls he's looking at, because this was, again, when he was saying you're at 36 percent. And he says, I'm not really concerned about the polls. He mentioned a few polls that he was concerned about. But he said that the polls that he's seen is say that he's neck and neck with Donald Trump. But then he said his internal polls are suggesting otherwise. He also kind of, I'm not going to lie, put a kind of a, a page out of other play, uh, politicians playbooks saying don't believe the polls. What was your take on? I mean, what polls is he looking at or is Camp looking at? Well, I'm sure that they have numbers that show the way that Joe Biden could chart a path to victory. And I'm sure that and you know that the Biden campaign and Democrats are polling constantly, constantly, constantly. But I will tell you, I have been made privy to some Democratic polls and I haven't seen them all. And I haven't seen everything that Joe Biden has seen, obviously, because he's getting to get he's getting new numbers every day. But the numbers that I've seen tell a very grim, a very bleak story for uh, the incumbent here. And it's not just the low approval ratings. It is the fact that Democrats are dispirited about this. And there's a phenomenon that happens, which is if you're in a close race and you're slightly behind, you can keep your people engaged. You can keep them amped up. They can stay in the fight. As soon as your own side concludes that you've lost or you're going to lose, the bottom falls out. And that's what all of these congressional Democrats are worried about. These are the polls they're seeing. The polls Biden should be, the president should be concerned about. These senators who are talking to Mark Warner, these members of Congress who are talking to Mike Quigley and others, they're seeing their own reelection polling and they're seeing the data that's coming in from their states. They're getting the bad news. And they say, I don't want to go down with Joe Biden if this is an ego trip for him. I don't want to go down with him if he feels like he needs to do this to prove something to himself. He's got to get out of the way. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.